vegetarians have been in on the secret for some time. Beans, lentils, nuts, and seeds are healthy, inexpensive, and really tasty. The new cookbook, Nourish, offers up familiar recipes with the added bonus of these nutritious small wonders. Co-authors, Nettie Konish and Kara Rosenblum, join us now in the AM Kitchen. Nice to see you, ladies. Hi. And this is quite an assortment that we have going on here. What are we going to start with? Well, we're going to start with our Grain, whole grain salad and what I'm going to ask you to do sure. is to mix all the ingredients together while I make the dressing. Okay, let's go. Teamwork. All right, okay. so I'm going to just take this and add this. So our book is all about nuts, beans and seeds and they're such versatile ingredients and they're easily, easily available. And they notch up the health factor. Well, that's why we did it, right? and that's why the book is called Nourish, because yeah. adding beans, nuts, and seeds to any of your sure. recipes makes them so healthy. The one we're doing today is called the Thai Peanut Noodle Salad, and it has the goodness of beans from edamame, which are a baby green soybean that people are just starting to love. It also has peanut butter and peanuts, so we've got a triple hit of nuts and beans and seeds in there, and some toasted sesame oil, so sesame seed as well. And this one is great. If you love Thai food, this is a great way to get takeout in your own kitchen you. and you see how easy it, it is, is just mixing a few ingredients together to make this sauce and these ingredients are available in a supermarket and what I like so much about working with Kara as a registered dietitian was I said to her at one point in time oh my gosh I don't have any peanut butter and she said Nettie use almond nut butter there you go there yeah. you go. And this smells so, so good. Now, tell us what's going in here into the sauce. Well, we have some uh, balsamic vinegar, mm. a little maple syrup. I'm smelling sesame. Yes, toasted sesame oh, yummy. oil. It's yummy. just yes. fabulous. And we also have uh, some lime zest and some lime juice. I just love the flavor of lime. I like its acidity. Mm. And, you know, this is Thai takeout in your kitchen. And, you know, this is what I want to know, too. Well, it looks fabulous. Uh, Kara, tell us what this does for you, what the legumes can do for you on yeah. a health basis. Well, we really chose beans, nuts, and seeds as the feature ingredients in the book because of their nourishing value. Vitamins, minerals, protein, fiber, all the buzzwords we hear about so much, they're all in these small wonders, these mighty, powerful foods. And what we find is, I know as a dietitian, I'm often recommending these foods to consumers. Yeah. And the problem is they don't know what to do with them. They don't them. know what to do or how to get this. Exactly. Yeah. So what we did basically is we took 100 recipes of foods that people eat anyway. Maybe pancakes for breakfast or soup for lunch. Everyday and ingredients. And we've shown you how to, to add make beans, nuts, and seeds to foods you eat anyway. We're seeing the soup over there. Yeah, what, did you, is... what did you add to that soup? So this one is a vegetable soup with pistu. Pistu is similar to pesto. But this one we've made with pumpkin seeds, and there's also a pinto bean in the soup. So we've got beans and seeds, but it's just a vegetable soup that looks like something you'd eat anyway. But again, upping the nutrition Upping the nutrition factor, with right? beans and seeds. And, and what about the, oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt, I was just going to say the salmon. Yeah, the salmon is crusted with sesame seeds. Mm. And they're black and white sesame seeds, so What's the visual the presentation. Is there a difference between them, or is it just the visual? There is actually a difference between them. They have um, very slightly different nutritional values. One's higher in calcium, one in vitamin E, but together you get the nutritional benefits of both. And the visual presentation is so nice, as is the crunch that it let, lends to the fish. And they're so easy to toast. You can do it stovetop. But what we like so much about nuts, beans, and seeds is you can buy them in cans, and you can buy low-salt ones. And in the book, we also tell you how you can cook them from scratch, but people don't have a lot of time. So they can grab so, them and know that they can. Yes, yes, and you don't even have to rinse them and you can use the liquid that's inside them. Thank you so much ladies and thank you for adding this the, the sauce. Doesn't it smell it great? It smells wonderful. Thank you so much. This is really neat. Yeah, thank uh, you. We will have the Thai peanut noodle salad. That's what you're looking at right here. Yep. As well as sesame crusted salmon recipes on our website. Thanks for finishing that our off. Pleasure.